morning my darlings welcome to a new vlog it is currently saturday morning and um excuse my slightly stuffy voice i still have got a little bit of a cold i think i picked up charlie's man flu um but we are currently en route to our friends rory and nathan's house we are helping them move house today which is really really exciting charlie and i both said that when we moved house which was obviously during peak lockdown it would have been so much more enjoyable and also a lot less stressful experience if we'd had like lots of friends and family helping us um, and we are very happy to be helping Rory and Nathan today we've got an empty car aside from a few cardboard boxes I think my duty oh my gosh there is a lot of mud on the road Wait, oh my gosh happened? he's come straight out of the field oh dear oh dear we're gonna have to go on the wrong side of the road um, like me driving in Alabama I didn't even tell you this Charlie oh, did you? we um I, I I drove flawlessly 99.999% yeah. of the time um, but then when we are in Montgomery, Alabama I was so sure that this one particular road was one way right. so like all the cars would be driving yeah. you know in the road um, but then I saw a car coming straight towards me and I turned to Freddie and I was like am I on the wrong side of the road and so calmly Freddie was just like yeah <laughs> yeah you are so that's what we've just done anyway um, as soon as we get to Rory Nathan's I've got loads of tissue paper from blogger mails and net supported deliveries which I've been stashing away just the same as we did when Charlie and I moved house a couple of years ago so I think I'm gonna be wrapping their um, glasses <laughs> when we get there and um, yeah then we're gonna drive in convoy to their new place which is really exciting um, so, I can't yeah. wait to see it because I, know. I think it's safe to say so Roy and Nathan are like two of our longest friends as a couple aren't they because yeah. they they actually started dating like the same month we started dating yeah um so 10 years ago nearly yeah and they rory rory's got a real well they both got a great eye for detail but the i think initially rory was always keen on maybe newer buildings mm -hmm. and he's completely changed his view since moving to the local area yeah and I'm just really excited to see this cottage because it just looks so special. It looks gorgeous. And what they're going to do with it is going to be amazing. That's sure. a Shire horse. Yeah. Daffled like Dickie. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so we're very, very excited to see their new place. And then I think we will all reward ourselves for a um, a good morning's work with brunch or it'll probably be lunch by then at the farmhouse a little bit later. So it's going to be a busy day. I've um, got my practical outfit on. I've got my Holland Cooper nice thick knit. I've got a thermal underneath. River Island leggings and my boots. Um, but yeah, we're nearly there. It's time to get cracking. Hello again, my darlings. <laughs> so it's obviously not the same day anymore. It's in fact two days later. Um, I was not very good at vlogging this weekend and I don't even really have an excuse. Just kept forgetting to vlog. I must have got out of the habit, but also I've said it many a time in the past, when it's gloomy weather, I just feel very uninspired, but it's actually a really, really glorious day today. It's currently Monday. Um, I've actually been shooting all morning with Kat. Can you see my, oh, I <laughs> thought you were there. Can you see both of my boys? Got a, a chicken Lynn here and a handsome one here. <laughs> Yeah, I've been shooting with Kat all day. We were very, very productive. Um, we went down to the kitchen garden, kitchen garden, I mean, I feel like I can't, really, can't even really call it that now, um, to get some before shots because the massive renovation is starting in just a couple of days time. Um, and actually, we are going away for a bit of a staycation um, for a couple of nights and we're gonna miss the first couple of days of, Nic of Nicholson's being here so they're gonna be doing a lot of the like taking stuff away a lot of the clearing a lot of the prep work um, while we're away so and I'm in London all day tomorrow so today is really my last day um, with my current kitchen garden so we're gonna go to so we're gonna go down there together now and um, say goodbye which is very sad because when you think how much care and love has gone into that part of the garden since we moved house if you watch like if you watch the very first moving vlogs you'll have seen me um in spring 2020 just out there like shoveling away at the soil trying to get those beds usable because the soil is like a clay soil so it really needed a lot of breaking up and it was quite literally back breaking work um and then obviously last year i really loved and cherished that space growing my vegetables my first proper year growing stuff last year because the year before it was kind of 
half-hearted but last year I really put a lot of effort into growing stuff as you'll have seen but yeah to be honest we thought that we would leave the kitchen garden as it is for maybe a few more years um, but then we thought you know what it's not going to get any cheaper <laughs> if we leave it um, and also we want it to look really special for our wedding and also with the greenhouse going in this year it just kind of made sense to do the big project this year instead of putting it off so we're not doing as many projects in the house inside the house this year um, because basically all of our money <laughs> is going on um, the kitchen garden and let me tell you I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined how much money I would spend as an adult landscaping my garden. It's just not something that I ever thought I would spend a lot of money on, but it is expensive. <laughs> it's very, very expensive doing all the stuff that we've been doing, putting in the new trees, um, literally landscaping an entire area. So it's really, really exciting, huge project. Um, but yeah, I thought before I go upstairs and start sorting the bits that I need to sort, let's go down to the kitchen garden and um, have a bit of an emotional goodbye <laughs> to its current date. This will also be a really good before and after so you can refer back to this in a few months time when it looks completely transformed. Also have to show you these fabulous new footwear additions. These are my new gardening clogs from Holland Cooper. They perfectly match my wellies which I just absolutely adore with the fluffy lining. Um, but yeah these are perfect for times like now and I just want to quickly nip into the garden. So here we are. I feel like it's been quite a while since I brought you guys down here. You might be thinking, wow Josie, <laughs> it looks very sad. But unfortunately kitchen gardens kind of do at this time of year unless you have um, popped a lot of winter veg in there. But I guess if I hadn't have been knowing that this whole area is going to be renovated, I would have made this area look a lot tidier. I would have pulled all of this up. Um, I would have taken my broccoli out. There's still some remnants of uh, vegetables in here, but yeah, I just want you guys to remember how this looks because next time I show you down here, it's, well, to be honest, it's probably gonna look like an absolute building site. It's gonna look a whole lot worse before it looks any better, um, but let's use our imagination. So I'm gonna explain to you what's going on. You might remember last year we spent a long time putting these bricks around here. I love the red bricks, I think they're really beautiful, so I definitely want to use them for something else. I'm going to keep hold of all of those. And then we also had Mark and Steve put some temporary edging around here. You might remember this whole area was just full of flowers. Obviously I've dug up um, all the roses, they're all in the pots around there. So they'll be going into the new garden. I can actually see some lupins starting to come back through over there. In the cauldron in the middle at the moment you can see lots of little um, shoots starting to come out. This is going to be full of tulips so we're going to put this in a really visual place so that um, we still get to enjoy the tulips because I think that'll look really striking when it's full of blooms. So thinking to the future this whole area is actually going to get widened so the pathway is going to come out um, this will be seeded under here so it'll be grass underneath the tree and then it'll be more of a square formation of my cutting flowers with a lovely seating area in the middle the pathway is getting redone um, and there's actually going to be a beautiful pergola in the middle here and four kind of square shaped kitchen garden raised beds and we haven't decided if we're going to go for oak or something that looks like oak but is a little bit more long lasting because oak doesn't usually weather too well and it goes a little bit silvery so we're thinking we might look at a few different options. We've even taken out my peonies so that they can go in the new cut flower area. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the herbs. Um, I think we're going to give a few of these tubs to friends. This giant stone thing down here is our new water feature. We're going to get a beautiful pump. And that's going to be a gorgeous water feature. Um, <laughs> you can see some of the world's biggest beetroots still sat down here. Still got some carrots in the ground. Still got some onions growing there. More carrots here. Actually quite a lot of carrots here. Need to pull these up. Dexy! Off there. Come on, get off. I'm sorry, but you're not going to be allowed to do that on Mummy's new raised beds. 
Come on, get down, silly boy. So yeah, this is how the kitchen garden currently looks in early March 2022. Next time you see it, it is gonna be a building site and then it's just gonna be a total transformation and I can't wait to share the progress with you. We've also had this new antique, uh, French antique dining set out here for a few weeks now, but because the weather has been so miserable, I've not been out to show you, but we actually bought this from the same Instagram antique dealer as we bought our last table. And don't worry, we're not going overboard with two sets of tables out here. This set will actually go in my future greenhouse. Um, but we do often have more than six people over for lovely outdoor lunches and things like that um so we thought it'd be great to get a slightly bigger table and i also just absolutely love the color of these chairs they're like an olive green and we can now very comfortably sit eight around this table you can actually really easily fit four on each side and two on the ends so we could even fit up to 12 people around this table which will be very handy for our summer soirees dicky Dicky dick! Gosh, I feel a little bit windswept <laughs> after my expedition down to the kitchen garden and I've been outdoors freezing my booty off quite a lot today because Kat and I were trying to shoot some bright spring photos even though it's probably only about two degrees outside. I have switched, by the way, from my usual um, Bare Minerals Insight to the shade Grace because it's a little bit more kind of just fresh and pinky and spring-like, which I'm very much in the mood for at the moment, and a little bit groundbreaking for me. <laughs> Normally I'm such a um, powder applier on my face. I like my bronzer to be powder, I like my blusher to be powder, and I still do, but I just worked, or am working on a project um, for By Terry 4. Where is the other one? Um, the launch of these. I don't believe this is secret anymore. Um, these are the new CC blush, uh, liquid blush in the shade. I think this is Sunny Glow Rosy Flash. And I have been using these every day as my bronzer and my blusher. I've been just popping a little bit on the back of my hand and then buffing it in as the bronzer or using um, this brush here just to pop on a little bit of blush and I have just found my complexion looks so much more glowing which is quite hard <laughs> at this time of year to achieve. So these are my two new makeup BFFs in case you thought my skin looked any different whatsoever. Anyway, I just came up here to undo an Amazon order with you. <gasps> I have a real mix of things um, that were in my latest order and I thought I would share them with you. It's a real mixture of kind of essentials um, and some fashion bits as well. But while, and while I'm thinking about Amazon fashion, I know that lots of you guys are actually in the US. Um, and the Josie dress, <laughs> I'm sure you guys will know what I mean. I'll pop a picture up on the screen here. If you live in the US, the Josie dress is available in an olivey sage color, midi length, but I can't find it anywhere in the UK, but I can find it when I'm using my VPN <laughs> um, on Amazon US. So I will leave that link down below in case any of you guys are in the US and love that dress as much as I do. I really hope they bring it out in that color um, and make it available for us UK shoppers to buy. I'm sure they will. Oh, some really great pieces in this order. So first of all, from Amazon Find, which is actually um, Amazon's one of Amazon's own fashion brands, you guys know I was a little bit disappointed with the pink jumper that I purchased in the store um, in the Alabama shopping center but I just wanted something that was really nice and easy to throw on for gardening this is probably a little bit too smart for gardening um, but a really nice layering piece so this is from the Amazon find brand it's just a lightweight jumper for when I need an additional layer for gardening and I thought the colour, this perfect blush tone was absolutely perfect. And then this next piece is totally different, just a completely different kettle of fish altogether. There is a brand on Amazon which is kind of similar to Schoffel, which is every countryside dweller's favourite brand, whether it's jackets or gilets, and this brand is called Game technical apparel. They have a lot of stuff very similar to Schoffel. I don't know if it's in this order. It doesn't look like it is. Um, so if it arrives by the time this video goes live, I'll pop a try on clip here of this gilet which I've ordered, which 
this gilet which I've ordered which is so so similar to the Shofu ones um but upon browsing their webpage I came across this and you guys are probably thinking Josie are you planning on going fishing anytime soon <laughs> because it does kind of look like a fisherman's gilet but bear with me basically Charlie and I are going on a little bit of a trip um not tomorrow but the next day I'm not going to tell you where it is yet, although if you follow me on Instagram, I'm probably already posting about it. And I actually thought this would be perfect. I know it doesn't look anything exciting right now while I'm holding it up, but hopefully with a felt hat and all the right accessories and completing the look, this will be absolutely perfect. Apparently it's got some kind of repelling, repels water and oil-based spills. That's amazing. And it's got these little poppers here, which hopefully means I can create a little bit of a nice silhouette. Um, but yeah, just holding it up like this, I'm sure you guys think I'm totally mad. Okay, so up next is this gorgeously, heavenly soft new robe. Now, I love my Soho home robes, um, but mine is starting to look very tired, and I'm just always on the hunt for something similar, but crucially, one that has got pockets and... You never can be too sure if it's gonna be exactly the same as it is in the pictures, um, but thankfully this does have pockets, hallelujah. So it is mostly pure white, and I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but super, super soft. Um, but then it's got this light pink stripe on the neckline, which I think would be absolutely beautiful, and the same light pink stripe on the sleeves. So this is a very strong contender as my kind of autumn winter, every day, straight out of bed with my cup of coffee, I can't talk this morning, cup of coffee, that kind of robe for snuggling. But then I do also love to have a silky robe for when I'm putting my makeup on, um, if I'm like fresh out of the shower, if I'm in between getting changed. There will nearly always call for a time when one needs a silky robe as well. I didn't actually get it in this order. I have had it for a few weeks now, but I did order this silky robe in this kind of, it's almost like an emerald green shade. You can see how silky it is in the sunlight here. And they actually had quite a few different colour options. Um, I was quite tempted by the champagne-y colour, which I thought was beautiful as well. But I went for the dark one because I actually plan on using that particular robe um, for when I am fake tanning. So I wanted a nice dark colour. I'll leave both robe styles linked um, down below. Let me know what you prefer. Are you a fluffy robe or are you a silky robe lover? I personally think there is a need for both. <laughs> And then I can never go on Amazon without finding something totally random, something I never thought that I needed, um, but the Amazon recommended section always gets me, and I saw this, and it is an ultrasonic jewellery cleaner. Now I have been, um, what's the word? served so many adverts on Instagram lately for ultrasonic jewellery cleaners and I just keep thinking how different can they really be from each other. This one had really really good reviews um, and a lot of the jewellery that I wear I literally wear it every single day. So for example my ring stack, I don't take it off to shower, I don't take it off at night when I'm putting my lotions and potions on. So it definitely needs a good clean. So I thought I would just leave um, some of my most worn jewellery pieces cleaning away while I get my little suitcase packed. Um, I think you can put fairy liquid in them, but you can also just use water. And apparently it just kind of almost shimmies your jewellery and vibrates the dirt out, which looks very satisfying in the adverts that Instagram um, send my way. So I'm going to give that a try in a second. I'm going to put all of my everyday jewellery pieces in there. You guys might also remember that I last summer got a lot of table linen from Amazon um, and I purchased this exact thing last year. It is just a set of six really natural coloured um, napkins essentially and to be honest I don't even iron these. I quite like them how they look when they're fresh out the dryer, when they're a little bit crinkled, just tied together with some string. A little bit of time. Yeah, it just looks quite natural, you know, with your cutlery in there. Great for all times of year, even at Christmas, even at Christmas, but also spring, summer, autumn tablescapes all look really nice with a natural coloured linen. So I bought another pack of six, um, so I might actually get one more because 
we're probably gonna end up having dinner parties of more than 12 and sometimes you get through them really quickly at breakfast and you just want another set ready for lunch. So I'm gonna pop all of those in the washing machine. And then my final fashion purchase, I'm kind of on the lookout for the 2020 version of the Josie dress, something I keep catching in the light, this bit of hair, very strange. Sorry, I still look so windswept. Um, yeah, trying to find the 2022 version of the Josie dress, something that's just really comfortable and easy to wear around the house. And I spotted this and I thought the material was really lovely. You've got this shirt, shirt bodice, a little bit of elastication and detail around the sleeves, and then this lovely full length dress. I think they did also have this in a greeny colour as well, which I'm quite tempted by. As soon as the temperatures warm up, you guys know how I love to just wear a casual dress for doing my errands around the house, doing my gardening, and I thought that this would be absolutely perfect. So we'll give that a try. Um, you guys will have seen it try on clips as I've gone through all of these pieces. So that is what was in my latest Amazon order. There are a couple of bits that I'm still expecting from that order, including a pair of Prada sunglasses because I'm just obsessed with um, their current design at the moment. I will pop those up on the screen here so you can see which ones I bought. So yeah, I'll leave all my Amazon favorites linked down below. But for now, right, I need to do a little bit of packing. I need to start packing my suitcase. We're only going away for two nights, but we all know that I can't pack light. So I'm just gonna put a podcast on and get in the zone. I've had an epic fail this morning. I left my croissant in the Arga and completely forgot about it while editing a video and it absolutely stinks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it out here so that I don't make the whole house smell like burnt croissant. But it is a beautiful morning. Isn't it Dixie? It's beautiful. Perfect clear blue skies and the birds are twittering away. Charlie told me last night that Nicholson's are actually arriving today to kickstart the project and not tomorrow, which is very exciting. So I think they're gonna be here any second now. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be here to oversee because I am in London today. So Dexy, you're in charge, my boy. Right, let's try this again. Take two. Um, it's so funny by the way, I, when I first did my Ocado unboxing, I left a few of the bits that I'd ordered linked in the description box um, underneath the videos, and I linked the frozen croissants, and of all the pieces um, that you guys clicked on and purchased with your Ocado order, the croissants was <laughs> the number one, so you guys are loving these croissants, it's such a treat in the mornings to just... You know, not just one that's been like sat in your cake stand for a little while. <clears throat> and all you have to do is pop them in the oven for a few minutes. Not half an hour like I just did. Have them with a bit of jam and that is the perfect start to the day.
Hello my darlings, a proper good morning now that I'm up, fed with my croissant and I've had my morning coffee. So I'm heading into London today and I have popped on, this is kind of my London dress. I wear this very often when heading into London because especially at this time of year, I like that I'm covered and yet still very elegant and yet it feels feels like a Josie dress. It's super comfortable because you've got the smocking on the bodice. Um, it does come with a kind of like an orangey, rusty coloured rope belt, but I prefer to wear my little Loueve. And I love where it fits because I don't like anything tight on this area. Um, and this is above that, so I just absolutely love it. It's probably a little bit optimistic wearing this in early March. However, I'm gonna be inside most of the days, so the only time I could potentially get cold is standing on the train platform in um, my, at my train station and walking to my meetings, but that is what my Dior coat is for. That Dior coat has ended up being such a great um, investment. I got it, you might remember, from Vista Village about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago, and I just love it, so I'm gonna wear that today. Um, but yeah, this dress is from Zimmerman. I'm pretty sure I saw it on the Outnet not too long ago, so I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. These are the Prada sunglasses, which I got from Amazon. How amazing is that? Um, they have got a little bit of a cat flick. I love them, and they are mostly there to hold my hair back because they don't have that annoying little nozzle. And then for the first time um, out the house, I'm wearing woo my Paris Texas boots that you may remember I got from Farfetch. They are so lovely and soft. Um, the leather is really, really beautiful. It is a stunning day today. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely stunning. Um, but when it is so clear like this, it also means it's freezing. So yeah, it's gonna be a chilly one. Oh, did you see that pigeon? Pigeons! Oh! Don't nest up there, we don't need- Oh, look at his face! <laughs> Funny bunnies. Um, yeah, so a great day for Nicholson's to get started. I'm probably gonna watch them on the security cameras because I'm so intrigued to know what they're gonna be doing today. I think it's mostly clearing, but equally, sorry about my <laughs> coat and handbag contents on the bed there. Um, I do find the clearing stage very emotional. I don't like seeing anything getting destroyed. I only like seeing the new stuff going in. So I'm not too sad that we're gonna miss the majority of the clearing when we're away. They work so quickly um, that I'm sure it'll be quite um, dramatically different by the time we get back from our trip. But anyway, uh, time for me to head into London. Okay, made it into London and it is just as beautiful here as it is in the Cotswolds. Such a gorgeous day, although seriously nippy. So I'm just whizzing down Baker Street, got my first meeting of the day at Chilton Firehouse. In fact, I think all of our meetings today are at Chilton Firehouse. It's a great place to just kind of set up base camp. And then later on, I'm heading to to 101 Holly Street to L'Atelier for um, a quick facial, just a speedy facial before our trip tomorrow. This is the courtyard. So pretty. Well, my meetings for the day are done. I'm heading to 101 Holly Street for my facial and I'm just walking past the Marlebone version of Delsford. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, you can take a girl out of the Cotswolds, but I thought I would just have a little look in here and see if what they've got in here is vastly different to the Cotswold version. I'm guessing it's probably going to be just like a smaller selection. Let's check it out. That's so funny, it's literally even the same decorations as they've got in the main store. Same table linen. Ooh, I don't think we've got these little rabbits in the Cotswolds. I love this set. And of course, you can get your layu here. You might recognize these as what I burnt my croissant in this morning.
darlings. I'm sorry for my very crazy appearance. I had an enzyme peel at um, L'Atelier at Harley Street, at 101 Harley Street, and then as soon as I got home, just literally jumped in the shower, washed my hair, and I've put it up in my heatless curls, which I've been getting really mixed results with recently. I don't know why, but my hair just hasn't really been seeming to hold them. I'm actually watching in the fro Victoria's vlog right now, and she's worked with Galan, and they've launched, um, Galan have launched a really luxurious hair serum and it's from the same range as the Abbe Royale range which is one of my absolute favourites, in fact I'm going to put some of their eye repair on now. Um, and the way that she's describing this hair product, it sounds like it could be a really really good product um, to use while you are heatless curling because it's meant to work really well if you're drying your hair naturally. So I will be giving that a try, hopefully. Um, this evening I'm just going to pop on because we have got a 5am alarm tomorrow it's not too bad, not too much earlier than our usual one, because we've got a 5.30 taxi coming um, to take us to the airport for our trip tomorrow. My lips are so dry today, my skin just feels quite... I don't know if it's because I've been in London all day, but my skin feels quite dry, um, just in need of moisture. So I'm going to pop on, this is the Declayore Balm de Nuit Night Balm, anti-stress hydrating night balm. So what I like to do with this is take a little bit, a little bit in my hand, and as with most Declio products, the fragrance is just heavenly, absolutely heavenly, so relaxing. The smell is just beyond gorgeous. Um, and then because my skin probably won't touch the pillow tonight because I've got this in my hair, I do have to kind of like sit or lie in a very, um, you know, like <laughs> straight down position. So it's a really good evening to have something a little bit thicker on my skin. And I feel like after a day in London and having a light peel at L'Atelier, oh, I can hear Dickie crying. I think Charlie put the boys to bed um, a little bit earlier than usual. So I'm gonna go down and kiss my babies before I go to bed. But yeah, this just smells and feels so gorgeous so hydrating on the skin. And then I'm going to pop on some of my L'Occitane anti-aging hand cream, just on the backs of my hands. I always like to do this before bed as well, a little bit of hand cream. And I'm just thinking, what lip balm do I have up here? And then some By Terry Balm de Rose. And I am going to slather my body in this. I mentioned this when we got back from the Maldives. It is the L'Occitane Shea Butter Body Lotion. This bit is removable and you can replace it. As you can see, I'm nearly through this one, especially as we've got a flight tomorrow. This is perfect. And then obviously when it runs out, I can just replace that middle bit. Well, my darlings, that is now me ready for bed. Gosh, look how creased my pyjamas are. That is the problem with silk pyjamas. They look absolutely gorgeous the first time you wear them when you first pop them on after they've come out of the wash and they've been ironed, but then night two, night three, they just look completely crumpled. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but this is one of those vlogs where I'm thinking back and I realise that I haven't really shown you anything interesting, so I apologise for a boring vlog, but then... I do always say that and you guys are always very kind and you're like, no Josie, we like the ones where you're just chilling at home. Um, but yeah, darlings, I'm gonna have to end the vlog here because tomorrow we are off on our trip and I obviously want that to be its own video. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. I'm just spending a couple of days with me at home and thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Good night.